One of the new tunics that is obtainable in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the Tunic of the Depths. It grants Link some resistance to gloom which is especially helpful when navigating the depths. Unlike other outfits in this game, this one is not as easily obtainable. However, no need to worry as in this video I'll show you precisely what you need to do to get the Tunic of the Depths for yourself. So if you've seen my video on how to get the dark tunic, then ignore all the steps and skip to the final step, as all the steps are exactly the same, but if you haven't, then keep watching. So the tunic of the depths can be purchased from the bargainer statue, but bear in mind, if you're in the early phase of the game, this could take you a while to obtain, because you'll need precisely 1061 pose, and you'll be making tons of traveling and discoveries into the depths. So to begin, first make your way to Lookout Landing and head to Joshua's workspace area. Speak with the Bargainer statue and give it one singular Poe. It'll then show you its stock items which are very few. Now speak to the statue again but this time select Brethren Location and for 10 Poes, he'll mark a spot on your map showing you the location of one of his Brethren. Speak with him again and select Brethren Location and this time for 100 Poes, he'll mark another spot on your map where another Poe statue resides. Do this 3 more times for 100 pose each and he'll mark 3 more statue locations on your map. So far that's 411 posts spent on marking 5 statue locations in the depths. Now the fun part begins. Head to each location marked on the maps in the depths. Remember that these locations will take a lot of work to get to. Along the way you can pick up tons of pose so make sure you take advantage of all the pose you come across by picking them up as they will come in handy for purchasing more items. The first location marked on the map is the easiest one to get to. Enter the depths through Hyrule Field Chasm and follow the map to the statue. It'll be situated on some rocks. Once you've arrived, speak to it and you'll see more items are available for purchase in the inventory. However, you still won't be able to purchase the entire tunic. The second location is near the Wellspring of Wisdom. If you need an access point in the depths close to that area, enter the chasm directly east of Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. Follow the map to the statue on a high mountain and be equipped with a lot of stamina foods if you don't have enough stamina wheels. And be sure to bring bright bloom seeds with you since it does get pitch black in this area. Once arrived at the bargainer statue, speak with him and once again, more items will be available for purchase. However, the tunic will still be unavailable. Next, head to the fire temple and begin traveling east. This one is more challenging as you must avoid falling into the lava as you navigate around Death Mountain's core. You can build a vehicle to get you across the lava or if you have enough stamina, finesse your way over the lava by attaching rockets to your shield and gliding over the lava. This area is rich with pose so be sure to collect them all as you make your way east. The statue sits on the wellspring of power and similarly to the others you'll have to climb a bit to reach the statue or you could just build a hot air balloon that'll carry you all the way up to the top of the mountain. Once arrived speak with the statue and this time around he'll be selling complete tunic sets but he still won't have the whole tunic set available. After speaking with the third statue travel to Popola Foothills Skyview Tower and enter the depths through the hills of Baumer Chasm. This statue will be the most challenging one to reach as many high walls block the path. You'll have to follow the trail around the mountain in the depths, eventually leading you to the bargainer statue. The statue is situated on top of a high mountain so if you don't have enough stamina to climb it, you could follow the trail leading you up to the tip of the mountain or you could also simply use a hot air balloon to get you there. Only one more statue to speak to before the tunic of the depths is yours. Head to Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower and enter the depths through Drennan Highlands Chasm. Make your way towards the Bargainer statue and you'll be greeted by a really high mountain. You'll need to use a hot air balloon to rise above the mountain as the statue sits on a cliff on top of the mountain and it'll take a really long time to climb it plus you'd need a lot of stamina anyways. Once on top of the mountain, climb the cliff and speak with the Cliff Bargainer statue and the Tunic of the Depths will be yours. With the Tunic of the Depths, you now have resistance to gloom, plus Link looks amazing in this new drip. That'll do it for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom guides and content.